I'm Natalie and I'm here for Cruise News TV at the Overseas Passenger Terminal in Sydney where this amazing ship Carnival Spirit sailed in this morning. We're about to go on board and show you some of the exciting features that this ship that holds over 2,600 passengers contains. How does it feel to be deployed on the newly ossified Carnival Spirit here in your homeland of Australia? Uh, well, well, the truth is, I've been on the Spirit for three years now, sailing on the west coast of the US and Alaska and the Mexican Riviera and, and also Hawaii. And uh, I've known for a couple of years now that they were going to send it down and they told me a couple of years ago, so it's sort of been two years in the, in the making. Yeah. And then, so I knew about it, it's been a lot of work to get here, but uh, now we're here and I got to sail in this morning. See the Harbour Bridge, you know, the Opera House, and my, my mates are texting me pictures from their offices in down in the CBT in yeah. North Sydney. And they're texting me these pictures of the ship coming in. I'm like, this is it. We're home, we're home. I'm stoked. Sing, 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 What makes Carnival Spirit different to the other ships that are currently deployed in Australia? Well, for starters, Carnival Spirit is the newest and largest ship to be homeported year-round in Australia. And really the idea behind the ship is that you can go from zen to adrenaline every day. And we've got over 40 different activities, there's 20 restaurants, bars and lounges, so there's just heaps of stuff to do yeah. um, for every age and inclination. And when we talk about Zen to Adrenaline, we really mean it. You've got the Zen, which is the spacious open air serenity deck, which is child free with the cool music and, and the chilled tunes. It's got, it's got the hammock, it's got the pool, it's got the spa, it's got the bar. Yeah. So it's a great place <laughs> to spend an afternoon. But then you go all the way to the Adrenaline, which would be Green Thunder, yeah. which is the steepest and fastest water slide at sea. And then we've got experiences all the way in between those. So it really is a new and exciting type of holiday for Australia. What was the reception like when you first sailed into Sydney Harbour this morning? Uh, it was it was massive. Of course, we, the anticipation for like 16 days of cruising for everyone on board. We sailed from Hawaii through French Polynesia, uh, Fiji, and then we we had days of build up, days of build up, and and we we sailed in mid morning, which was prime time because you know, that everyone's up, everyone's about, and there's thousands of people, everyone's on the decks. We handed out little Australian flags to everyone. There's helicopters, there's the news, and we're sailing in. There was a, like, a, uh, a firefighting tugboat in front of us, spraying, creating a, a beautiful rainbow. And it was just like, this was like, a, just a, a natural welcoming committee coming in. Uh, it was unreal, it was unreal. And of course, everyone on the, on the terminal, um, I couldn't help myself, I got on the PA system and I screamed out an Aussie, Aussie, Aussie and then the, every deck roared with an oi, oi, oi. It was great, it was great. It was incredible. Great to be a part of it. I'm really excited to be here. Gary, Gary, how do you feel? Scared to death.
currently aboard Carnival Cruise Line's Carnival Spirit, the newest ship, the largest ship to head into Sydney Harbour. She just arrived this morning from Hawaii, a trans-Pacific voyage to showcase Carnival Cruise Lines to Australia. 